Hey, what's up, guys? Finally getting good results out of my HHO generator. Um, got an amp meter now that goes from 0 to 25 amps DC uh, voltmeter. Car battery. Here is the uh, cell. It has, uh, it's made out of 3 inch PVC or ABS plastic uh, with a 3 inch uh, cap on the bottom. Up here is a clean out with a top. Um, my uh, studs are quarter 20. Uh, stainless steel, uh, all the washers, all the nuts, everything is too. Um, there's a sealant in between the two washers on the bottom, uh, sandwiching the top end. Uh, national pipe thread, uh, quarter inch barb, and wing terminals on top so I can clamp down the uh, wires. So uh, I'll go ahead and open it up and show you what the plates look like. Using uh, 302 stainless steel uh, wall plates from Home Depot. These are just the blank cover plates. There is seven of them. Uh, my configuration is two negatives on the outside, one positive in the middle with neutrals in between. So it's negative, neutral, neutral, positive, neutral, neutral, negative. And it's got a 1024 uh, thread uh, stainless steel bolts going through it and nuts on the back. Um, I went to the uh, scrap metal yard, well the, uh, it's called uh, Curtis Steel, and picked up this big long piece of stainless. It's about four feet long and uh, it's 316 uh, stainless and it was free. Uh, I could have gotten a bigger piece but for now I'm just using this. This is going to be make my uh, connections from here all the way up to the top. Right now I'm just using wire which slowly is decomposing and uh, corroding, I guess you would call it. Um, but once I get this done, I'll have that. I've already cut out this small strip which is going to be one of the terminals. I'm going to cut it in half uh, widthwise so it's thin and then it'll go from the top up here to my positive and my negative. So I'm going to put this aside. Anyways, seven plates, uh, having some real good uh, luck with it. It's spaced real close. Um, these are just the nylon washers, 5 uh hole. And uh, this is my spacers, and I'll go ahead and I'll measure this with the micrometer. Clear this out. So it's 1.6 millimeters, 1.60 millimeters is what the uh, washer, that's the spacing, and in inches it is 0.63, or 0 0.063, sorry, um, that's that. Um, temperature, I haven't been able to check yet because uh, I don't have a gauge, um, I'm going to have one probably tomorrow to check it with. So I'll give you those results when I get this uh, video posted into the uh, right of the video. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and drop this in the cell. And inside here is uh, four cups of distilled water with uh, a tablespoon of baking soda. Go screw this on. There we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and connect my wires. Let me find them over. Put it. There we go. So I have my positive and my negative terminals marked. Um, it's going to go on negative. I'm also going to hook up my voltmeter lead. And this is my positive terminal. And again, my voltage lead. Turn my 
my voltmeter on. I'll cut my positive and my negative. Okay, so here's my amps. Um, we'll go ahead and just screw this into the terminal here. Things picked up. So now we're at uh, 12.5 volts, 12.49 volts, slowly dropping a little bit. Battery isn't fully, fully charged. And we're pulling 19 amps. Yep, 19. So uh, it's pretty good. And uh, I don't know if you can see, but there's some gas coming out. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, but I'm going to uh, hook up this tubing. And uh, here's the other end of it. I'm going to put this in this little thing of water here. You'll be able to see the bubbles. Uh, there's a little water in the tube from uh, me when I was unscrewing the cat. Uh, it created a vacuum and started sucking water out of this tank right here. But uh, it's putting out some bubbles, and I have checked it with this lighter, and it's flammable. But I'm not going to do it right now because it's like 11, and it's loud. So uh pulling 20 amps now. Uh, Sells pretty cool. Feels nice. Studs are cold. Can't even just lukewarm. So, uh, it's doing pretty good now. Putting out a good amount of gas and uh, not pulling more than 25 amps. So, uh, anyways, uh, pretty much made this whole thing just by looking at people's other videos and mainly got my design by watching most of uh, the Smacks stuff and uh, Sir Hoax. Uh, I knew he was messing around with the uh, wall plates. Um, a lot of people were having some overheating problems and I uh, just want to share with you that I'm not having any overheating problems. Uh, I've only run it straight for 30 minutes and I mean the water was about 140 I don't know if that's overheating, but I don't think it really is. Before, with my uh, two and five plate systems, I was running with my two plate. The water started to boil. It was so hot. Uh, it was like 220 degrees, and uh, that was just a lot of amperage. And um, I noticed a funny thing after I disconnect the battery, and uh, my voltmeter still hooked up. I'm still reading 1.13 volts. That's with nothing else hooked up to it. So, I guess that's just the water in the baking soda with the plates reacting. It's acting like a battery. But, anyways, uh, thanks to everyone who's messaged me and uh, helped me out with some things. And uh, hopefully we'll be testing this pretty soon. Thanks a lot.